Hey friends, today I'm going to be revisiting Frozen again. Upon rewatch, my last video was rather inaccurate. I legitimately enjoyed this movie a lot more than I did originally in my last video. My only real writing gripe is that Anna could have just gone outside whenever, but I think that one, she could have wanted to just stay with Elsa or just go outside with her. Or two, she was simply afraid of people. Other than that, I really love this movie. My positives for Frozen in my last video are absolutely still accurate. I really love the characters and the music especially. Each song is pretty catchy and the characters are really fun and charming. And I kind of changed my mind on Elsa. She does feel somewhat three-dimensional because of course she would be scared of people. She's been isolated for years. When she was a kid, she was afraid, like she didn't know how to use her powers. So of course she wouldn't want to be by people to accidentally hurt them. It probably would have been better if she did get to experience being with people still, but whatever. Also, Hans as a twist villain actually works better than Callahan from Big Hero 6. He's not an amazing villain, but at least his motivations make sense. He's still obviously not as good as King Candy though. And you probably already know that Wreck-It Ralph is a better movie than Frozen. I honestly do not think that Frozen is the best movie from Disney Animation in the 2010s. You probably already know that I prefer movies like Tangled, Zootopia, Moana, and others. I do find it to be a bit better than Big Hero 6 because I prefer the characters and the twist villain actually somewhat makes more sense. Olaf is actually pretty funny and charming in this movie, unlike in Frozen 2, in which he's just really obnoxious. Also, the trolls are not a bad addition to this movie, and they are much better trolls than what DreamWorks is pumping out, that's for sure. Overall, my last video on Frozen was rather inaccurate. This movie is still really great, and it holds up well. The characters are great, the music is really catchy, Olaf is pretty funny, and I just really enjoyed this movie overall still, even after 10 years. 10 years, oh my god. It's not the best Disney film from this decade, but it's much better than garbage like Ralph Breaks the Internet. One thing I do have to say is that my stance on Frozen 2 in that last video is still accurate. I kinda just find it mid and it doesn't really make sense, even though I completely understand why it is that way based on the documentary. I'd still recommend rewatching this movie. Go check it out. I'll see y'all later. I hope you liked this video.